One of the things that troubles me the most is that we, we don't yet have a truly affordable car. Uh, but in order to do that, um, we've got to get the cost of batteries down, we've got to make, uh, and we've got to be better at manufacturing. And, and we need to do something about Deep inside Tesla's Giga Texas facility, a revolution is quietly happening. No flashy launch event, no dramatic Elon Musk stage reveal, just a small team unlocking something the rest of the industry thought was impossible. A battery so advanced, so different, that it doesn't just improve electric cars. It threatens to rewrite the entire rulebook of energy itself. For over a decade, the EV world has worshipped lithium. Lithium was the star of the show. The golden ticket powering everything from Tesla sedans to cheap city EVs. But here's the thing, lithium wasn't perfect. It charged slowly, it lost capacity over time, and when things got too hot, it carried the terrifying risk of thurful runaway, which basically means explosive meltdown. Every improvement was a patch, a bit faster charging here, a few more miles of range there, better cooling systems everywhere. Sure, progress was made, but it was like trying to polish a cracked mirror. No matter how hard you worked, the flaws never went away. Tesla, though, wasn't interested in playing the same old game. While other companies fought over lithium scraps and supply chains, Tesla asked a bold question. Why not step away from lithium altogether? In their Austin lab, they dusted off an element that battery researchers had laughed off for decades, aluminum. Yes, the same metal in soda cans and airplane wings. Cheap, abundant and lightweight. Perfect, right? Well, not exactly. Aluminum could hold energy, but it suffered from something called ion lock, which meant it struggled to release that energy quickly. For years, scientists hit that wall and gave up, but Tesla refused to walk away. What they discovered turned aluminum from an overlooked joke into a superstar. By embedding aluminum ions into a special carbon graphene structure laced with atomic scale induction points, Tesla created a pathway where ions didn't just move, they flew. Suddenly, aluminum could release energy instantly without overheating, degrading, or choking on supply chain bottlenecks. It was the birth of something new, something so radical, Tesla gave it a name straight out of sci-fi, Quantum Burst Control, or QBC. As we continue, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on our next upload. Unlike traditional batteries that dribble out power like a leaky faucet, QBC unleashed energy in ultra-fast, perfectly timed pulses. The result? Torque so instant, it felt like the car was reading your mind. Lab tests showed insane numbers, 7,000 watts per kilogram, more than five times what Tesla's own cutting-edge lithium-ion cells could deliver. And instead of overheating, this battery loved the heat. Past 85 degrees Celsius, where lithium packs wrist meltdown, aluminum packs hit their stride. Imagine going from a garden hose to a fire hydrant. The same water, but with unstoppable force. That's what Tesla had just built. But here's the twist. Tesla didn't just drop this battery into an existing car. No. They built an entirely new machine around it, a project codenamed Redwood. The public would soon know it as the Model 2, a compact EV priced under $16,000, offering 550 miles of range and get this, a full recharge in 5 minutes. That's less than the time it takes to grab a coffee at Starbucks. Secret prototype tests confirmed the hype. Journalists invited for rides didn't know what was under the hood, but they knew one thing, it launched harder than anything they'd ever experienced. Zero to 60 in just over three seconds. No fade, no overheating, no please wait while your car cools down. Just relentless power. Over and over, and all of this was powered by aluminum, the element scientists had dismissed for decades. What everyone else saw as unstable and too reactive, Tesla turned into a strength. By tweaking its structure with graphene-like layers, the battery didn't degrade in heat, it got better. Drive through a scorching desert, push the car hard on a racetrack, haul heavy loads up a mountain road, the battery didn't just endure, it thrived. And because aluminum is the third most abundant element on Earth, Tesla sidestepped the entire messy drama of lithium mining. No expensive cobalt deals, no political choke points, no endless supply chain headaches. Just raw, scalable material, ready to fuel millions of cars. But if performance and supply weren't shocking enough, the real jaw-dropper came when Tesla showed off charging. For years, EV owners have dreaded long waits at charging stations. Even with Tesla's superchargers, a decent refill could take half an hour. Aluminum batteries smashed that barrier. In a private devo for investors, 
Tesla engineers plugged a Model 2 into a standard supercharger. Five minutes later, 80% full. No exotic cables, no super special infrastructure, just Tesla's new chemistry doing its thing. The car barely warmed up, fans stayed quiet, and the process was smooth, repeatable, and mind-blowingly fast. In a single demonstration, Tesla erased one of the biggest excuses people had for avoiding EVs. And if that wasn't enough, there was the question of longevity. Traditional batteries start dying the moment they're born. Every cycle shaves a little off their lifespan, until one day they're too weak to be useful. Tesla's aluminum ion battery flicks that on its head. Each cycle actually strengthens it, realigning its structure like bones healing stronger after a break. In tests, even after half a million full charge cycles, the battery delivered 100% of its original performance. That's over a century of daily driving with zero capacity loss. Add in regenerative braking that recaptures up to 98% of wasted energy, and you've got a machine that seems to get more efficient the harder you use it. Once Tesla cracked aluminum ion batteries, the next big challenge wasn't the chemistry, it was scale. A breakthrough this huge couldn't be left to traditional, slow, water-heavy battery factories. So Tesla built Giga Mexico, a facility designed from scratch to mass-produce the new cells at lightning speed. Instead of the sluggish, wasteful methods used in lithium plants, they switched to dry electrode production, slashing build times, and cutting billions of gallons of water waste every year. From raw aluminum to finished battery packs, the process took less than three days. But Tesla didn't stop with one mega factory. Their plan is a global swarm of micro factories, smaller, highly automated hubs, each capable of producing a million packs annually. Instead of one central bottleneck, Tesla spreads production everywhere, avoiding the political games and resource chokeholds that crippled lithium. This wasn't just about cars, it was about energy independence on a planetary scale. And what about driving with this thing? That's where it gets almost surreal. Traditional EVs throttle power to protect the battery, push too hard, too often, and the system politely tells you to calm down. The aluminum ion pack doesn't need babysitting. Floor it again and again, tow a trailer uphill, tear through a racetrack. The performance never fades. Torque arrives instantly every single time, with no hesitation. It feels less like driving a machine, and more like the machine is a lot.